Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. So today I am going to be doing my very first anti-haul video. Um, if you do not know what an anti-haul video is, basically I am gonna post some pictures on the side here, one or the other, of a makeup item and kind of explain to you why I'm not gonna buy it. These are more newer items. Um, it doesn't always mean that it's just I don't like the brand or anything. It could just be other reasons on why I'm not getting the product. So if you are interested in what I am not buying, then go ahead and keep watching. But before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. Become part of the hive. We have so much fun on this channel, you don't want to miss out. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so a couple of things that I want to talk about before we get started. One, if you are not new to my channel, then this probably looks really different for you. Because I'm usually behind, like in front of this like fancy wall and all this makeup. And so when I started doing these like talk or chit chat videos, um, I started to like not wear makeup, like I'm not right now, just like a lip. And then I started to go deeper, like what else can I do to kind of make it more like a chit chatty, comfortable, surrounding setting for you guys and I decided that sitting on my bed why not <laughs> um, and I do have a pretty decent white wall I do have to get curtains so please do not mind the blinds um, but I thought it would be more comfortable for you guys that you might you know more relaxed I guess um, kind of videos but if you don't like it please let me know below and I can go right back to my um, normal background for every single video but I'm just gonna kind of uh, have this background if you don't mind it for like the chit chatty ones or like the get to know me or like the Annie hauls and stuff like that just so we can kind of just chill out, hang out, and have some fun. The second thing that I wanted to touch base on was anything mentioned or any products mentioned in this video is not hating on someone, is not bashing somebody, not bashing a brand, not bashing a person. So just take that into consideration before you start leaving me hate comments or anything negative. Um, I just feel like there are certain things that I would, I don't want to buy, and I want to give you guys my kind of thoughts on them, and maybe you can take that upon yourself on whether or not you want to buy them. Just because I say I'm not going to buy them or I don't like them doesn't mean I'm telling you you can't buy them or shouldn't buy them. Take it upon yourself, do your own thoughts, your own reviews, and kind of go from there. If you love something, then I'm glad you love it and I want you to buy it. Don't always 100% take what you hear from me or any other influencer because at the end of the day, it's all opinion based and I wouldn't really want you to focus solely on my opinion. This is just kind of giving you like a think about it or this is how I feel. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into why we're really here. So I do have my phone here and I screenshot a lot of the things because I don't want to write it down because one, it's a waste of paper and two, I will lose it. I'm not really good with holding on to lists. If you have that same problem, leave me a comment below because I make a lot of lists and then I can't find them. Oh, and one more thing before we get into the video, I'm so freaking excited to tell you that my ColourPop Villain collection finally was shipped and will be here Thursday, but also my Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette will be here Thursday. So comment below and let me know what video you want up first. Unfortunately, ColourPop is so slow with their shipping, with their new launches and stuff like that, that it just, it happens on the same time. Like I literally just got Jeffree's Friday, I bought it, and it's gonna be here Thursday. I think the Villain Collection may have been the following like the, the Friday before that, or maybe Monday around that time. Either way, it's been way longer, and you know what? Unfortunately, I think a lot more people wanna see the Blue Blood collection. I will get both of them up, but let me know in the comments below which one you guys wanna see first. The majority will rule, and I will do that one first. Okay, so again, um, I will post a picture when editing, either here or here of the product, um, so you guys can kind of see it up close. So the first product I am going to mention is the Natural Lust Palette by Too Faced. It is $59. The reason I'm not going to buy it is because I got the first Natural Love Palette. And quite honestly, it was so boring. I don't even know why I really got it. I mean, I do have a problem. I know that. But for $59, it's just not, to me, it's not worth it. And this one looks basically the same but with like a blue and a like hot like maroon color in it. But other than that, like it looks literally the same. I'll put the other one here so you guys can kind of see the comparison. So for me, if I didn't like the first one, I'm not gonna like the second one that just has uh, two colors added to it. 
move right along. So the second one is going to be the Naked Reloaded. It is $44. I don't think this one is as new anymore. The reason I'm not buying it is because, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I hated all the Naked palettes. I hated them when they were big, and even when I first started makeup, like before I had like all this crazy makeup and all this crazy collection, um, and it just really, honestly, I, I bought one and I hated it and I gave it away because they just were not good at all. They weren't very pigmented, they were kind of chalky and dry, and I really would have rather used, and I did use, drugstore brand instead. So it's not that I don't think that maybe they did do it better, but I'm kind of like a too late, you did too many, we're over the naked situation, so move on. The next one is going to be the Body Lava Body Luminizer by Fenty. So I didn't get the original one she launched, but I do know that she's launching two more colors if I'm not mistaken. It's $59. I don't, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't put body highlighter on. I don't put body glitter on. Even when I go out, like I'm a t-shirt, jeans, sneakers kind of person, it's just who I am. And most of the time you guys will see me in my t-shirts. Usually if I'm wearing like a fancier shirt, it's literally because I just got home from work and I'm too lazy to change. Other than that, this is me. Like. 100% this is what you're getting so if you don't like a bum relaxed kind of person and you want to see some fancy with these fancy dresses and shirts on you're not going to get that here I'm not doing that <laughs> I like to be comfortable I like you guys to know who I am and who I really am and not pretending for the camera so for me I just think 60 or oh, $59 for body highlighter or body glitter it's just kind of weird um, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't. Comment below and let me know if you guys highlight your body. Maybe you do and that's okay. We're all different. But I just think it's kind of silly. I think that it reminds me of like when I was younger and I got Victoria's Secret like shimmer spray and I'd spray it all right here so I could be glittery and pretty and I just, I don't do that. Um, even if I was taking like doing like a photo shoot, I would probably more lean towards like a powder highlighter before I lean towards like a liquid just because I think it's messy it's gonna make me feel sticky and everyone's like well what about at the beach you could wear it at the beach um no I mean I play in the sand with my kids play in the water and I eat good food like that's about all you're getting from me from the beach <laughs> so moving along okay so the next one I think it is also launching with the um the Too Faced Lust whatever palette that I'm also not getting. This is the Peach Puff Long Wearing Diffused Matte Lip Color. It's $19. It comes in several colors. Um, so what it does basically is it comes, it's a tube, I'm, obviously there's a picture here, but and you twist it and it comes out on a sponge and the applicator just looks like it's not going to be very easy to work with. I think if it was like a gloss then I could see that maybe being a thing, but because it's a lipstick, I feel like it would be messy and I would get it everywhere. I know that I'm not the biggest fan of their the Too Faced Melted because of the applicator and it seems similar, it's just round. All right, so the next one is gonna be the BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray. It is the new, I believe it's new, I don't know the name of it, but it, I'll put it over here. The only one of the major reasons that I won't order it is because I've had a really bad experience with BH Cosmetics. Um, I ordered like 120 some dollars worth of makeup because one of you guys had requested that I do a BH Cosmetics haul and I was really down for it and I went right online and I ordered it and two weeks later I got nothing. No shipping, no nothing. And I waited and I waited and I messaged them and I was like, hey, what's going on? And they're like, Oh, it's a seven to ten day business day, blah blah blah. I said, okay. They're like, it should be shipped. Um, and that was like a Monday or something. It should be shipped Wednesday or something. So I waited. I waited. Nothing. So I messaged them back, and I paid extra money to have it shipped here quicker. So then I messaged them, and I still hadn't heard anything. And they're like, oh well, you know, we're really backed up right now. We're gonna ship it out Friday. I said, you know what? I'm gonna stop right there. It's been almost three weeks. Cancel my order, and I canceled it. And I honestly. I won't buy anything from them for that. I just think the customer service was terrible. I think the shipping was horrible. And honestly, if I ever, I just couldn't. As as a person who wants to eventually own her own makeup company or cosmetic company, that to me is your first priority. Your customers. Are they happy? Are you messing up? What is happening? But they didn't even care. They're like, okay, we'll refund you. They weren't even like, I'm so sorry. No apology, no nothing. They're like, okay, cool, we'll refund you. Bye. <laughs> 
All right, so the next thing here, I'm gonna post it up here. It's new Kat Von D like mini um, lip sets. Um, and then a crush on blush highlighter and blush set. The only reason I'm not getting it has nothing to do with whether or not I support Kat Von D or not. I'm not getting into that. That's personal opinion and I just think there's too much of it going around. I just think that it looks very underwhelming. Um, it's kind of small and I don't like mini makeup. So, on to the next one. So the next two palettes are going to be from Stila Cosmetics. They are the Happy Hour Eyeshadow Palette and the After Hours Eyeshadow Palette. Um, one, the one is so cool tone. I'm just not a cool tone kind of gal. I do my best to work with like several different color schemes, different color tone but it just wasn't speaking to me um there's very gray toned it's very like grayed out um and then the other one is you know 12 shades of, of brown so i just don't think that i need to buy those for 52 dollars a piece they're pretty but no thanks so the next item on the list of shit i ain't buying uh, the next thing is the Jeffree Star Mini Blue Blood Velour Liquid Lipstick set for $52. There is only one reason I am not buying this collection, and we all know it if you're not new here. I don't like mini makeup items. I don't like them in my collection. So I really wish that he would have made the color in this photo. Oh my god. Please make it a full one. Jeffrey, if you are seeing this, if any of his fans are seeing this, beg him for me to make this in a full size and I will buy it. It's so beautiful. Like, I just can't. But I won't mess around with mini makeup. Um, the next thing from this actual same collection is his Liquid Frost. I had bought two Liquid Frost from the first original launch and I just didn't like them. I think they are more like the Body Lava from Fenty where it's more or less good for your skin to give you kind of like a glimmering. Um, but when I try to put it on my makeup, it would pull up my makeup. So it kind of like was, it's too liquidy um, of a formula and it kind of pulled up my concealer and foundation. So I think they're very beautiful. But again, they're more for like that like glimmery effect on your body that I'm just not into. The next one is going to be the Dragon Beauty Concealer and Powder Duo. I don't mind Nikita. I think kudos to her for coming out with something different. I just don't color correct. Um, honestly, I just don't. If I do, it'll be a little bit of a pink, just a pinker concealer mixed with my lighter concealer. So for me, it would be a waste of money because creams or liquids go bad fairly fast. Um, powders you can kind of keep for a long time, eyeshadows, blushes, etc. Foundations, concealers, and all that, if you don't use them up, they can go bad. So for me, it would be a waste, and I'm just not into it. And believe it or not, the new Kylie lip kits that just launched. Extraordinary, uh, bad little thing, and then mind your business. Um, I love Kylie. You guys know that. It's like my favorite brand. But... I just was so like, oh, three more pink lipsticks. So for me, it's kind of getting like, mm, because I have 89 different lipsticks. Actually, 90 now. I got Party Girl, which is very neon, by the way. I like it, but very neon. So like those colors inspire me. Like, oh, they're so different. They're so awesome. But it, I literally have Say No More and a couple other pink ones that look exactly like extraordinary. It's just a smidge off. Um bad little thing it's just another red I literally got have like three different shades of red from her and the mind your business kind of reminds me of a mix between um high maintenance I think it is and moon or Malibu one of the two but it's kind of like a brownish red or a brownish pink I just have a lot um in her collection from like that color range so I just passed on that but if you like the shades her lipsticks are really really nice so a couple more items here on the list more of the NARS Orgasm collection. I'm over it. It's a beautiful blush. I love the blush. And I even was like, okay, lipstick. And then they just added on. And now they're putting an eyeshadow palette that doesn't even look like the blush. Like, I think one color in here. And I just, I'm over it, honestly. That's kind of just the only reason I think it's a waste of money. The whole collection is super expensive and the blush is pretty, but come on. The makeup industry has changed since Orgasm had first launched, and you can find that for cheaper somewhere else. So, the introducing Mr. Wright and Mr. Chiseled. So, Mr. Wright is my 
favorite blush brush from Too Faced, actually from anywhere, but Too Faced makes it. If you don't have this brush, get this brush. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it. I love the shape of it. I love the handle. I love the feel of it. It's so beautiful. However, Mr. Chiseled right here. It looks like a thick ass fan brush. Like how can I contour my face with a thick ass fan brush? No, it's too, I can't stop right now. Too Faced needs to simmer down. That's ridiculous. I think it is $30 wasted to get that brush. Um, if you're going to get one of them, get the Mr. Right. Super cute, super perfect bristles. Bristles, hairs, damn it. The last but certainly not least, and I may get some hate and negative um, comments for this because this is a very unpopular opinion. I will not be getting the Urban Decay and Game of Thrones collection. One, I'm just not really into that show. Not really a fan. Um, that's about it. <laughs> no. Um, there, I saw a review on it. I think Nicole actually just dropped that today. But before I had screenshot in here, I got, I got the receipts. I did screenshot it before that. But it's just to me like kind of gimmicky. Most of their stuff lately has been like real gimmicky. And it's too bulky and just, I, I can't get behind it. Like, it's just too bulky and too crazy to have it in my makeup collection. I'm not a big fan. So all of you Game of Thrones fans, you can have it. I'm going to leave it alone. They will probably sell out because they know that that's a really, really, really popular show. But, um, makeup wise, I'm just, I'm not here for it. So, but, um, I know that you can go on to Trend Mood's website and she kind of like tells you like the breakdown and the prices of everything or like Nicole Concilio's video. She has it. But other than that, I just, it, to me, it's just kind of like, oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm just not really the Disney villain. Like, come on. That is like from childhood. Like that is like a take me back remembrance nostalgic is that the word nostalgic kind of thing game of thrones not interested i'm not interested in whatever makeup that urban decay actually sells to be honest i don't think i've bought anything from urban decay in a long long time but not that i don't like them i just think that their products are usually too bulky and just very really gimmicky so if you have bought any of these items Comment below and let me know if you like them or not. Were my thoughts correct? Do you disagree? Um, if you don't plan on buying it, one of these products, then list which one below you do not plan on buying. If you do plan on buying, also comment below. I like to debate. I like to talk. I like to just have like a bunch of fun in the beauty community. We can have a whole freaking conversation down there in the comment box. I don't mind it at all. You don't have to agree with what I have to say and I don't have to agree with what you have to say. That is the beautiful part of being different and this world. So I just kind of want to get your guys' thought. Pick your brains. What do you think? What do you think of what I've picked for what I'm not buying? Is there something new that you're not buying that I haven't listed? Tell me what it is leave me all the love and that is it for my first auntie haul guys so make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't like it cool but if you give it a thumbs up anyways that'd be cool <laughs> um and also just make sure you let me know what you think about these like laid back chit chat talks on my bed kind of thing um if you don't like it again i will switch back but i think that this is more comfortable and kind of just more personal with you guys and that's what i really want to try to do is really connect with you guys create a family and have a whole lot of fun as always guys i'll see you on the next one bye